We live in a world of opposites. For every up, there's a down. Day has night. For every Janaid, there's a Yusuf. Now this can make the world a very black and white place. But life's basically a series of choices. The issue that this brings about is the fact that something is either one thing or another. It's either good or bad, positive or negative. If something happens to us and we fail to see the good in it, well, therefore it must be bad. You know those people, the ones who only see the bad and moan and complain about everything. Sometimes you just want to shake them and say, does anything good even happen in your dreams? It's not what happens to us that makes us who we are. It's how we respond. We are going to face hardships in life. There's no avoiding it, and it defines who we are. You might lose your job, fail that exam, your car breaks down, tragedy may befall us, we may be ill, and we may lose people we love. After all, one thing that we all know is life is the one thing that you can't get out of alive. In chapter 3, verse 186, the Quran clearly states, You shall certainly be tried in your possessions and your lives. And you shall certainly hear many hurtful things from some of those who were given the book before you, and from some of the polytheists. But if you persevere patiently and guard yourselves against evil, that is a matter of strong determination. It's who you are being, whilst you do that which you do, that defines your character. You find what you look for. If you only look for negatives, that's what you'll find. And if you moan about them, complain and focus on these negatives, Allah will send you more. There is a hadith which says, if you complain about small calamities, Allah will give you great calamities. You find what you look for. Take praying for example. Some people will say, what's the point in praying? You never get what you ask for. Well, firstly, you might want to rethink what you're asking for. And secondly, you know when you pray, there's actually only three possible outcomes? When you ask Allah for something, he will either say, yes, not yet, or I have a different plan for you. So, you either get what you've asked for, or you get what you've asked for, but later on, or you get something even better. Do you see what's missing here? Yes. What? No. What? No is missing. There is no no. Got it. Awesome. So you'll either get it now, get it in the future, or get something better. How cool is that? You find what you look for. If you recognise the good around you, brilliant. The more you see good, the more you look for it, the more good you'll find. If all you see are the negatives... So recognise the good. It's this mentality which helps you remain positive. It is only when we change within ourselves that any other change is possible. The Holy Quran says, verily, Allah will not change the condition of a people unless they change the state of themselves. That's chapter 13, verse 11. Also, it's the challenges in life which help us to grow. Even Winston Churchill said, kites rise highest against the wind. Consider this beautiful saying of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, where he tells us, How wonderful is the affair of the believer! Everything that happens to him is good, and this does not apply to anyone except the believer. If something good befalls him, he gives thanks for it, and that is good for him. If something bad befalls him, he bears it with patience, and that is good for him. After all, consider the issues Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, faced. His journey was hardly a walk in the park. How we react to the challenges that Allah places in our path and the decisions we make as a result can have far-reaching consequences. Let's take the example of our Prophet, peace be upon him, and his journey to Taif. Our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, travelled to the neighbouring town of Taif, where he expected to be welcomed. The people of Taif turned out to be as hateful towards him as the people of Mecca. 
The elders of the town planned and organised a campaign to ridicule the prophet, peace be upon him. They sent a group of children who pelted him with stones. They injured him to the extent that his shoes were clogged with blood. He sought refuge in someone's garden where he was visited by the angel Gabriel. The angel Gabriel offered to crush the people of Taif between two mountains. Our beloved prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, prayed and said no, because from their progeny there may be Muslims. Allah accepted his prayer and we now know that the people of Taif, along with those of Mecca and Medina, in the main became Muslim. Many years later, one of the descendants of Taif, called Muhammad bin Qasim, travelled to the Indian subcontinent to propagate Islam and it is through his work that Indian, Pakistani and Bangladeshi Muslims exist today. So it is thanks to the mercy of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the decision he made to pray for the people of Taif that we have millions of Muslim brothers and sisters from the Indian subcontinent today. We can take this a step further. The wonderful people who helped you, Yusuf, towards Islam, where were their parents from? Pakistan. The wonderful people who helped you towards Islam, where were their parents from, Junaid? Well, they were also from Pakistan. Whilst we recognise that this is all part of Allah's plan, were it not for this decision made by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, all those years ago, we might not be here recording this today. And let's be honest, you might not be watching it. So remember, when things are good, pray to Allah. When things are not so good, be patient, pray to Allah. Always look for the good in the people around you and the situations that you face. So we really hope you enjoyed that. For the 21 video series, everything you ever wanted to know about Islam and the Muslim culture, but couldn't be bothered to ask, click the link in the top right of the screen. Also, please subscribe by clicking the red button below if you haven't already done so. We want to reach as many people as we possibly can. Thank you once again for your support and we'll see you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Bismillah.